I've got three kids, Meg's the eldest, and then Tess and Joe were twins. And she was probably the easiest child. I probably, I thought that Joe might give me a run for my money when they were little, but um, never had any idea that it would be Tess. She got a bit nervous when she was in grade six about going through to secondary school. And I just thought that was kind of a natural kind of nerves about going on to secondary college. She started to change some habits and she wanted to get fit and go to the gym and, and eat a bit healthier, which you know we, I supported because that was good. She started going downhill and um, I started looking for places and I couldn't find anything that would fit for Tess. A couple of doctors who said to me, you know, it's just normal sort of teenage changes, but I knew it wasn't. It was such a long journey. It was five years and there was different, um, different parts of that. It was really hard for Tess to, um, to put so much time and effort into her eating and then still have to manage going to school and all the normal things that you would do as a kid. Um, and she tried really hard to do the best she could to be normal. Kind of the way that it happened in the end was she just, she'd stopped eating altogether. One time Tess was um, really depressed and we felt that she was to the point where she may have hurt herself and took her to the hospital, um, to the psych department and they said that her vital signs were too good to be in there and so we got sent home. They just they said to us come back when she's not if she's but when she's critical. How can you expect me to take her home? <laughs> and you know so you'd take her home and you'd think I'd slept slept in the same bed with her thinking I don't know if I, she's going to be there in the morning. I think one of the things that really upset Bruce and I was that um, we know that so many people who have eating disorders choose to take their own lives. You can't wait until they're refed to give them support and psychological treatment because Tess never got refed. I think that a lot of people still think that it's um, something that people have a choice over and that they don't understand that it's, it's such a debilitating illness.